What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Man, if you're new to my channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss a video. Uh, man, today's video, I'm gonna just tell y'all why I joined the army. And honestly, it's gonna be a whole story. It's gonna be kind of sad because I'm not gonna leave any details out. So make sure y'all stay tuned. Uh, but we just got a run in. See, I got my full vest on. Uh, I got my plates in and everything. Ran about four laps around the track. Now, just mind you, that track is way, it's like two times bigger than a regular high school track. So don't get it fucked up. And let me tell y'all something. If you want something in life, go after it. Stop making excuses. Push yourself beyond your thresholds. Because I promise you, if you push yourself beyond your thresholds, man, the, the amount of greatness that you can achieve is just, it's astronomical. So if you want something, if you want something in life, make sure you go after it. Make sure y'all have a great day and stay tuned. All right, y'all, so day of high school graduation, I think it was like June 7th um, for class of 2018. Y'all comment and let me know down below uh, when when we actually graduated, because honestly, I don't remember. But anyway, so is the day of graduation. Um, my girlfriend and I at the time hopped in my car. We drove all the way to uh, Southwestern College and you know, like, you have to go park, like, kind of where, like, the football field is. Well, obviously, because that's where the graduation is going to be at. But, um, so you go park by that little general parking area. And then you have to get in line and get staged and all that stuff. So, you know, we went over there. Uh, we got staged. We walked through the tunnel and all that. We sat down. They went through all their speeches and then... After that, they started calling up names, and then, you know, <clears throat> as it started, as the time started to get closer, and my name was about to be called, you know, right before we got up, well, right before my friends and I got to the stage, we took a picture, which I'll put right here, and, um, yeah, I got up on the stage once they called my name, shook, shook hands, took a picture with one of my favorite, uh, teachers, and, um, and I, I got off and then that was it you know what I mean like I was just crazy that I had my high school diploma in my hand I was like damn like high school is over it you know it's, it's time to move on with my life so um so yeah that summer you know I was just kind of like hanging out just working uh, I wasn't doing too much of anything honestly and then um you know, I was up in the air about, okay, do I want to go to the military or do I want to go to college? And so at the time, my dad was like really pushing me to go to college. And I was like, you know, I don't really want to go. Um, so I, I just ended up going anyways because I didn't want to go to the military. So I ended up going to college and um, I actually went to Grossmont for maybe about six months. And I'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, I went to Grossmont. Um, it was actually really cool because I was going to college with either people I went to school with in elementary and middle school and, um, well, even high school as well. So I got to run into a couple friends and all that, made some memories, had some laughs, had some jokes. Um, I took general, general classes, like I took sociology, math, English, um, I took something else, but I can't really recall what that uh, class was. But, you know, I was taking those classes. And honestly, I was, I was really enjoying the college experience. Um, but as time went along, uh, there's a lot of things that kind of... I wouldn't say a lot of things, but there's just things happening between my parents and I. So, you know, I was just like, all right, you know, I'm just trying to get out of here. Like, I don't even care no more. So... My girlfriend at the time was like, hey, you know, you can come move with me in this house that my uncle has, and we can go to the same school. Uh, you can work for my uncle, make money that way, and you could just do that. And I was like, all right, cool. So I dropped out, um, I think it was like November, I think. So I, I dropped out, and then um, I ended up not going to LA because the relationship between my girlfriend and I was it was um it was pretty bad I ain't gonna I ain't gonna lie um but yeah 
So I dropped out of college and then I'm about to get into why. All right, y'all. So after I dropped out of college, um, well, one, my dad was pissed. Uh, him and I would kind of argue almost like every day about why I dropped out and that I'm not doing anything with my life. And then <clears throat> I told my mom and, you know, well, she was not happy either. Um, so I told her, you know, hey, I'm going to go move with my girlfriend and I'm going to go live in L.A. And my mom was like, whatever. And my dad was like, you're not going to do anything with your life. So, uh, I, like I said, I ended up not going to L.A., um, what actually ended up happening was I had to make a decision for my life and I had to be a man and I had to take control of my life. So what I decided to do is go to the Air Force recruiter and I was like, hey, you know, I'm trying to get out of here. Like, what do I need to do? And he was like, all right, well, first, I need you to pick a job on this paper here. And then after that, you will study for your ASVAB and then take your, uh, take your ASVAB in like a, a month or two months. It's like, all right, cool. So. I was only speaking to the Air Force recruiter for two weeks. And then after those t two weeks I went by, well, before the two weeks was even up, he called me Sunday night. He was like, hey, you're taking your ASVAB tomorrow. And I was like, well, I'm not ready to take it yet. And he was like, well, let's, you could just take it and then we'll see where you're at. I was like, okay. Took my ASVAB, did terrible. And uh, my dad was like, well, you can take your score from the Air Force and bring it to the army. All they gotta do is find, sign a couple of forms and then you could just go to the army. So I was like, all right. So I did that. And then um, once I got my contract with the army, then, you know, I just, it was just a matter of waiting to go to basic training. And sorry about my lips, kind of chapped right now. Uh, just brushed my teeth. But anyways, uh, so yeah, had all my paperwork ready for the army. And then, um, you know, as I'm getting ready to uh, getting ready to leave for basic training and all that stuff, you know, I was just hanging out with my best friend a lot, you know, saying bye to everybody. And then before I knew it, um, it was like February, I think. And, you know, I, I got on the plane and went to Fort Jackson and, you know, that's, uh, that's pretty much my story. So, uh, Make sure y'all stay tuned because now I'm going to get into my experience and, and how the army has been for me. Hey, look at look where I stay at. Ooh. And then look at the sun. Ooh. Okay, my overall experience in the army so far is actually not that bad. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a reservist, so, you know, I just I go to drill one week in a month, two weeks out of the year. Um, and it's it's really not that bad. It's pretty laid back, but I mean, I, I suppose it kind of depends on your MOS. Um, so, but yeah, honestly, I definitely enjoy the army. The cliche thing to say is the the um, the military has changed my life, but honestly, it has, and there's nothing wrong with that. Like some people, some people don't have like like self-discipline some people just don't have that drive and that motivation to get up a, to get up in the morning and to grind and to go after what go after what they want and you know I was one of those people and I just I kind of needed direction and I needed to go in my own direction because I think you know my whole life I've been trying to to please people as opposed to you know doing what I wanted to do for me and for my life and how I wanted to live it so you know I just, I joined the military and I haven't looked back. Um, I really can't complain. Like, you know, honestly, there's, there's going to be moments when like, you're going to be like, okay, this is really fucking shitty. But the way I see, I, the way I see the world and just life in general is that eventually things will end. Like maybe you have to go, I don't know. You have to go do something, right? Do you have to do something you don't, you really don't want to do. Whatever that is, you, you think about it in your head. But think about that thing, right? There's 24 hours in the day. So eventually, that day will end and it'll be over. And you'll never look back because it's gone. It's, it's yesterday and today is today. That's just the way I see life. That's just the way I see life in general. 
So it doesn't matter what you're going through. Always understand that most things in this life are temporary and days just keep going by and going by. You know what I mean? So now if you are like wondering about anything else or if you have any other questions you guys want to ask me about the military or just life in general, honestly, I'm always just keep it, just keep it real, keep it a buck with y'all on my channel. Um, so if y'all just have any other questions, um, I will link my social media down below or, um, you know, y'all can ask questions in the comments and if there's any other videos that I can upload for y'all, I will definitely try my best, but I can only do so much because I can't really show and post some of the things here on this installation. Um, I will have a Camp Air of John vlog coming, coming up probably maybe this weekend if anything uh it's uh, it, it depends it depends I'll, I'll see what's up with it though but thank you guys for tuning in make sure y'all like comment subscribe turn on post notifications so you don't miss a video and just stay tuned for the next one i'm out